Good evening. This is All India Radio and I am Valsa Williams with the news at 9. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says there are many pressing challenges for the international community which require stronger global commitment. Prime Minister leaves on a 7-day US visit tonight to address Indian community in Houston on Sunday with President Donald Trump. Government cuts corporate tax rate from nearly 35 to about 25% for domestic investors. Sensex and Nifty make biggest single-day jump in more than a decade. Indian wrestler Bajrang Punia wins bronze medal in the World Championship. In boxing, Amit Pangal to take on Uzbekistan's Shakhobidin Zoyrov in final of World Men's Championship in Russia tomorrow. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will embark on a 7-day visit to the United States tonight. He is scheduled to visit Houston and New York to attend the high-level segment of the 74th session of the United Nations General Assembly. In his departure statement, Mr. Modi said the Houston event would be a maiden appearance of the US president in an Indian community event with him and marks a new milestone in India's outreach to them. Mr. Modi said there are many pressing challenges for the international community which require stronger global commitment and concerted multilateral action. He reiterated India's commitment to reformed multilateralism which is responsive, effective and inclusive. Mr. Modi said he will interact with chief executive officers of leading energy companies in the US with the aim to enhance India-US energy partnership. Mr. Modi said he is looking forward to meeting with the Indian American community. The Prime Minister said he will participate in various major events in the United Nations since its participation as a founding member of the United Nations in 1945. India has shown unwavering commitment to multilateralism to advance peace and security and promote broad-based inclusive economic growth and development in the world. He said India will also host at the UN an event to celebrate the 150th birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi. He said he is honored by the decision of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation to confer upon him the Global Goalkeepers Gold Award 2019. Here is our correspondent reporting from Houston. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will arrive in Houston on Saturday after a brief transit in Frankfurt. He will interact with top US CEOs from energy sector in his first engagement. On Sunday, he will address Indian community at Howdy Modi event jointly with US President Donald Trump at NRG Stadium. A community reception and groundbreaking ceremony of Eternal Gandhi Museum follows next. Then he leaves for New York. On 23 September, he will address the Climate Action Summit at UN headquarters. He will be meeting global leaders for a dialogue on strategic responses to terrorist and violent extremism. Atul Tiwari, AR News. Houston. Democratic presidential aspirant and member of the United States Congress Tulsi Gabbard has said the Howdy Modi event is bringing together Indian Americans from across the US extending her warm welcome to Prime Minister Narendra Modi she said the United States and India must work closely together to address the pressing issues that impact both the nations India is the world's largest democracy and one of the United States' most important partners in the Asia Pacific region. Our two nations must continue to work closely together if we are to address the pressing issues that impact us and the world. Issues like combating climate change, preventing nuclear war and nuclear proliferation and improving the economic well-being of our people. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be addressing Howdy Modi, a one of its kind rally on coming Sunday in Houston. Our correspondent covering the visit of the Prime Minister spoke to some of the Indian Americans who are attending the event. They said they are very very excited to listen to Prime Minister Modi. Namaste India. My name is Suthi Pandey and I live in Colorado, USA. I'm extremely excited to be traveling to Houston this week to our see our beloved PM who is coming to address the Indian American diaspora. also excited that president trump has decided to join him for this event this is a huge diplomatic victory for india given the situation that pakistan is trying to create a global level 
I'm Sonali Ahuja from Denver, Colorado. Super excited to be here in Houston celebrating our Modi ji, celebrating our culture, celebrating our country. Yes, I'm an American citizen. I've been here for the last 21 years. But Shirdi Dil Hai Hindustani. The world has now started looking India as a world leader. And all of this has been possible only because of Modi ji. The government has cut the corporate tax from nearly 35 to about 25% for domestic investors. Addressing media ahead of the 37th GST Council meeting in Goa, Union Minister for Finance and Corporate Affairs Nirmala Sitharaman said the new domestic manufacturing companies will have to pay 15% tax. The minister said a new provision has been inserted in the Income Tax Act with effect from financial year 2019-20, which allows any domestic company an option to pay income tax at the rate of 22% if they do not avail any exemption or incentive. The rate at which we are now going to tax is 22% for the oldest established companies and 15 for those who are coming in who will manufacture before 23. And that would be comparable with the lowest rates in this region and in Southeast Asia. The corporate tax rate for domestic companies shall now be 25.17% inclusive of surcharge and cess, which was earlier nearly 35%. Also, such companies shall not be required to pay minimum alternate tax. Under the new provision, a new domestic company incorporated on or after the 1st of October 2019 making fresh investment in manufacturing and which commences their production on or before the 31st of March 2023 will have to pay income tax at the rate of only 15%. The Finance Minister has also announced the government decision to expand the scope of 2% CSR spending. The Minister also expressed confidence that the move is well studied, whereby industrial growth and investment, which is due to increase with this move, will compensate revenue foregone for reduction. Total revenue foregone for the reduction in corporate tax rate and other relief is estimated to be at 1.45 lakh crore rupees. However, Congress spokesman Randeep Surjewala said the reduction of corporate tax rate will lead to revenue loss of 1,45,000 crore rupees. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has hailed the decision to cut corporate tax, terming it as a historic one. In a tweet, Mr. Modi said it will give a great stimulus to make in India attract private investment from across the globe, improve competitiveness of the private sector, create more jobs, and result in a win-win situation for 130 crore Indians. Union Commerce Minister Piyush Goyal said in an event organized by the Indo-American Chamber of Commerce in Mumbai today that India's tax rate now is competitive and comparable to those in the U.S. and elsewhere in South Asia. Union Minister for Electronics and Information Technology Ravi Shankar Prasad today exhorted electronics and mobile makers to take full advantage of the tax incentives announced by the government. हम भारत को टेलीकॉम इक्विपमेंट मैन्युफैक्चरिंग का भी बड़ा सेंटर बनाना चाहते हैं और आज के दिन मेरी अपील होगी टेलीकॉम इक्विपमेंट मैन्युफैक्चरर्स आल्सो टू अवेल द बेनिफिट ऑफ दिस एक्सट्रॉर्डिनरी अनाउंसमेंट द फेडरेशन ऑफ इंडियन चैंबर्स ऑफ कॉमर्स एंड इंडस्ट्री फिकी टुडे सेड द टैक्स रिलीफ्स अनाउंस्ड बाय फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर निर्मला सीतारामन विल सर्टेनली मूव proved to be a much needed बूस्टर डोज इन टैकलिंग द करंट स्लो डाउन एंड रीगेनिंग द ग्रोथ मोमेंटम Confederation of Indian Industries, CII Director General Chandrajit Banerjee said, reduction in corporate tax rate has been a long-standing demand from industry as high rates were making Indian industry uncompetitive vis-à-vis -vis its peers. Domestic benchmark equity indices, Sensex and Nifty posted the biggest single-day surge since May 2009 today after the government announced a series of measures to promote growth and investment. Sensex at the Bombay Stock Exchange surged 1,921 points to end at 38,015. The Nifty at the National Stock Exchange also climbed 569 points to close at 11,274. The rupee appreciated 40 paise to 70 rupees and 94 paise against the dollar. This is All India Radio giving you the news. For quick news updates, follow us on Twitter at AIR News Alerts. बेटा कहाँ चले मैं चला पार्क वहाँ होंगे कॉलोनी के सारे बच्चे हम सब मिलकर चलाएंगे
स्वच्छता का अभियान प्रधानमंत्री जी ने कहा है हम 2 अक्टूबर से पहले लगभग दो सप्ताह तक देश भर में स्वच्छता ही सेवा अभियान चलाते हैं इस बार यह 11 सितंबर से शुरू होगा इस दौरान हम अपने अपने घरों से बाहर निकलकर श्रमदान के जरिए महात्मा गांधी को कार्यांजलि देंगे पूरे देश में प्लास्टिक के खिलाफ एक नए जन आंदोलन की नींव रखेंगे स्वच्छता का यह अभियान चलाना है और सिंगल यूज प्लास्टिक को हटाना है आज हम मिलेंगे इस गांव की पहली लड़की से, जिसने मेडिकल एग्जाम क्लियर करके अपने परिवार का ही नहीं बल्कि पूरे गांव का नाम रोशन किया है बधाई हो सपना थैंक यू तैयारी तो सब करते हैं लेकिन आपने ऐसी क्या खास तैयारी की खास तैयारी तो बाबा ने की बाबा ने चार साल पहले बाबा ने घर पे इज्जत घर बनवाया तब से बाहर नहीं जाना पड़ा और मैं स्वस्थ और सुरक्षित रह पाई और चैन से पढ़ाई कर पाई इसी से मेरी तैयारी की शुरुआत हुई इज्जत घर के इस्तेमाल से सपना की तरह कई और जिंदगी बदल रही हैं इसलिए इज्जत घर का इस्तेमाल करते रहिए हर कोई हर रोज हमेशा पेयजल एवं स्वच्छता विभाग जल शक्ति मंत्रालय भारत सरकार द्वारा जनहित में जारी Indian Air Force IAF Chief Air Chief Marshal Birendra Singh Dhanoa said today that Pakistan always underestimated India's national leadership and they did the same during the Balakot air strikes the IAF chief who retires later this month was speaking at the India Today conclave in Mumbai he said in Kargil too they never expected India to pull her forces get Bofors guns get the air force into it and take them out In Jammu and Kashmir General Officer Commanding in Chief of Northern Command Lieutenant General Ranbir Singh visited Kashmir Valley today to review the prevailing situation in the region. The Army Commander accompanied by Chinar Corps Commander Lieutenant General KJS Dhillon visited formations and units in the hinterland and line of control. The Army Commander was briefed by the commanders on ground on the counter infiltration grid and the befitting response being given to the enemy on ceasefire violations. Senior Congress leader Ghulam Nabi Azad arrived on a four-day visit to Kashmir this evening following the Supreme Court's permission to undertake the tour of four districts in JNK without holding any political rally. During his four-day visit to the, in the Valley Azad leader of opposition in the Rajya Sabha will be meeting individuals and delegations of various organizations to have an idea about the issues and problems being faced by them due to restrictions and communication blockade since the 5th of August. All India Congress committee today approved the proposal for appointing some prominent leaders as the election in charge for the ensuing Maharashtra assembly elections. E-cigarettes are not harm reduction devices and no scientific study has ever proved that they are tobacco cessation devices. Union Health Secretary Preeti Sudhan in an exclusive interview to All India Radio News said only nicotine patches and chewing gums have been approved for drug cessation. nowhere are they approved tobacco cessation tools this is a marketing gimmick i would say to say that they are harm reduction devices the number of varieties that they have come up with flavors and the way those devices are coming out to attract youngsters in wrestling bajrang punia and ravi dhaiya today won the bronze at the world championships in nur sultan kazakhstan this is bajrang's second consecutive medal at the worlds and third overall while dhaiya has managed to win bronze in his very first appearance at the senior championships in boxing asian champion amit pangal today became the first indian to make the finals of the world men's championship while manish kaushik signed off with a bronze medal after going down in the semi finals in ekaterinburg russia Tomorrow Pangal will take on Uzbekistan's Shakibuddin Zoyrov the reigning Olympic champion and now before we end the bulletin the headlines once again Prime Minister Narendra Modi says there are many pressing challenges for the international community which require stronger global commitment Prime Minister leaves on a 7 day US visit tonight to address Indian community in Houston on Sunday with President Donald Trump Government cuts corporate tax rate from nearly 35 to about 25% for domestic investors. Sensex and Nifty make the biggest single day jump in more than a decade. Indian wrestlers Bajrang Punia and Ravi Dhaiya win bronze medals in the World Championship in boxing Amit Pangal to take on Uzbekistan's Shakhuddin Zoyrov in final of World Men's Championship in Russia tomorrow. 
For details of these stories and more, log on to our website www.newsonair.com and that is all in the news at 9. Good night.